Well, I've gotten the Facebook questions done and out of the way, so it's time to knock out, after some delay, the Twitter questions. So thanks for tuning in to this edition of the Twitter Q&A here on OTR Central. Let me go ahead and get started. 51 star 51 starts us off by asking, when is the Q&A coming? You've got your answer. But he also asked, where were you born and where have you lived in your life? My goodness, you want to know all about me, huh? Well, I was born in Rockford, Illinois, spent 26 years there, spent six years of my life after that in Waterloo, Iowa, and now I'm out here in Richmond, Virginia, where I've been the past just over two years now. That answered your question. Bauer24 Power. Should Cena stay off WWE TV until SummerSlam answering Rollins' challenge at the pay-per-view? Stay away until after SummerSlam. Um, I guess you could do it like that if you're really trying to have him sell it. Or at least don't have him come back until the Raw before SummerSlam, but, you know, I doubt they're going to want to do that. I really am. Golden Warrior 7-8, what were your thoughts on Hollywood Rock? I loved Hollywood Rock. I thought Hollywood Rock was freaking awesome. I absolutely loved Hollywood Rock. I really did. D underscore Rizzle, what will happen first? Vince McMahon giving up control of WWE, Cena retiring, or a non-white WWE champion? You know... Let's, let's correct something here just a little bit. There have been non-white WWE champions. There have been. It's black WWE champions specifically. We're not counting the World Heavyweight Championship. And we're not counting The Rock because The Rock doesn't fucking count himself. So there you fucking go again. Blow it out your ass if you think different. With that said, uh, Vince isn't giving up control until he probably dies. Or is no longer capable of having control. I don't see Cena retiring anytime soon, so I'll go with a non-white WWE champion, as Roman Reigns is not a white guy. There's one right there. Andrew Harrington 4. Have you ever watched American Alicard's videos on YouTube? To me, his videos are boring and biased towards TNA. Ah, I have not. I don't really watch American Alicard's videos in part. I don't watch many other people's videos, if I'm being so frank. Because, yes, a lot of them are boring, and at times I find my own videos to be fucking boring. Times are not, but times they are. I wish I did put a little more effort into having more fun into them. Um, so, no, I haven't really watched his videos. As far as his videos being biased towards TNA, oh, they clearly are. But at least he has a passion about some company's product. I wish a company in today's business could sit there and evoke that type of passion and emotion out of me. There's none of them are capable of doing it. Absolutely none of them. So, you know, while he tweets stupid stuff and says off-the-mark things and <clears throat> is very good about trying to spin stuff, at the end of the day, I wish I had his passion, again, for any company's product at this point in time. I wish I just had that passion for wrestling, period. So, you know... Sometimes it's fun to watch the people that you don't agree with more than the people you always agree with. I like sometimes when there are people that more so that don't agree with me and, you know, want to go tit for tat about things. I, I, I like that. Uh, Dirty Deeds 97, do you think Rollins has a chance of winning at SummerSlam? <laughs> See, a funny thing happened to you. I... Um, sure. You didn't say... To quantify that percentage chance, there's always a chance that that could happen. <laughs> Queen, though? Uh, that's a different story. Dredgy, what do you think of the Bray Wyatt and Roman Reigns feud and whether or not Eric Rowan might return to join the Wyatt family? I thought Rowan was hurt, so we're probably not going to see him. I know people were talking about it might be Leo Kruger. Oh, good God. Uh, but as far as Bray Wyatt and Roman Reigns' feud... They went with the kid shit, then they went away from the shit, then he's stalking Roman, but then he's really not... I don't fucking know. It's just stupid. It's stupid. John Amazing. Who is the best who is best to main event WrestleMania 32? The Rock versus Triple H or The Rock versus The Undertaker? Uh, Rock versus Undertaker would be very random and I don't think the dynamics of it would work. Rock versus Triple H could work because you could have Triple H effectively play some type of villain type of role. That would put the people, you know, kind of squarely behind the Rock for the most part. So I think the dynamics of Rock versus Triple H and the history there works so much better than Rock versus Taker would at a WrestleMania. Uh, R.J. Gorman, do you think Rollins could be the face of the company? I think he could be the best baby face on the roster. All right, how do I answer this without pissing you off too bad, but also being realistic? Seth Rollins, in some ways, as the champion right now, is the face of the company, and look how the product's doing. Look at the lack of interest in the product. Look at the less-than-stellar ratings for Raw. 
And we're, again, we're not even into football season yet. You really don't have much to go up against at this point. Um, no, I don't think he could be the face of the company. If he's the face of your company, then you're either ROH, TNA, or you're in a really bad place if you're WWE. Uh, at best, he's an edge type of guy that over time could become one of those guys, but he's never going to be the guy. And if he is the guy, you've got some major problems. I'm sorry. It's just the way it is. A Ruck Fools. How you feel about Cesaro versus Cena versus Owens versus Rollins in a two falls match at SummerSlam? First fall for the U.S. title and second fall for the WWE title. Fuck it. You've done it in the past before. What the hell? Why not? Why not? It'd be a way to get the belt off of Cena. Wouldn't even have to eat the precious pinfall. Then after that, you could still have a fatal four-way for the WWE title. Worth a shot. What the hell? Why not? Doesn't mean I would do it. I'm not saying it's the worst idea I've heard either. It did mix things up a little bit. And it would definitely elevate Cesaro and Owens into a main event spotlight for SummerSlam. And that's a positive. So why not? Mr. Tuxedo, what are your thoughts on the shooting of Cecil the Lion and the public reaction? Um... I'm not a hunter. I don't really like guns. I don't really like hunting. I understand why people hunt. You know, when people go hunt deer and things like that, you know, you could sit there and say you're hunting for food and, and that type of thing and, you know, for the, uh, the hides. I, that I don't have much of a problem with. That's kind of the nature of things. Uh, I've never been a fan of sport hunting. I think sport hunting is kind of stupid. And again, that's just me. Some people enjoy it, whatever. Uh, you know, as far as Cecil the Lion, you know, why does somebody have to go all the way there to shoot a lion? You know, that's some typical American dumb shit. But what amazes me is the fact that there's so much outrage about this. About a fucking lion. And I'm a huge animal lover, as you should know. We're talking about a fucking lion. Imagine if this many people were that outraged about homelessness in this country or poverty in this country, how much could potentially change and how much better this country and this society and this world as a whole would be better off because of it. It's just ridiculous how selective we can be as a society in our outrage about things and sometimes stupid, frivolous things, if I can be so blunt. Uh, Cocaine Sunsets, nice name. Uh, do you feel Drew McIntyre was a missed opportunity for the WWE? Yes, he was Vince McMahon's chosen one, and apparently Vince chose to never make him that guy. I, I thought they missed the boat with him, absolutely. EJC8713, with everything going on in the WWE and the Confederate flag debate, is there any chance of the Freebirds ever going into the Hall of Fame? Well, I think there's a very good chance, and I think it would happen next year with them being in WCCW territory down there in Dallas, Texas. If there's ever a time for the Freebirds to go in, that has to be the time, that has to be the year, that has to be the place. Otherwise, it would probably be a very big disgrace, you know. The Freebirds not being in the Hall of Fame already is ridiculous in and of itself. That's the place. It's the right timing, everything else. Uh, MUFC underscore footy. How do you think the Miami Heat will do this season? I think they're a playoff team. Are they a 4-5 seed or more of a 6-7 seed? I haven't really determined yet. Uh, but I like some of the moves they made. Obviously, I love the fact that they were able to have Justice Winslow fall into their lap at 10th overall. So I think they're a team that could win maybe at most 44, 45 games, which might be enough to make them a 4-5 or five seed uh, in the Eastern Conference. I think it's you know, somewhere between 4-6 to six seed in the playoffs. I think they're a playoff team, though. I like some of what they've done this offseason. I like them bringing in Amari for a dirt cheap deal. Uh, Kay Lightning Bolt, is Dog Ziggler already suffering the same fate as Dolph Ziggler in the sense that he's being aligned with the chick? Yeah, we need to have more Dog Ziggler, though. The best Elizondo. What is it that Finn Balor is missing? I love the style and the character, but I agree he needs something. Any ideas? Thanks. You know, he's a small dude, but he doesn't look like a midget, if that makes sense. He's under 200 pounds, but he looks like he should be more. Um, he's not a huge dude, but he doesn't look like a shrimp either. I, I mean... Yeah, I love the style, and I love what the character could potentially be, but I don't think there's a full-on connection there between the performer and the character. Uh, in terms of what's needed, we need a better understanding of what Finn Balor is supposed to be about, you know, the, more of the dichotomy between the individual and the man in the paint. Um, it'd help if he was a better talker. 
and a lot of things that would help. Um, but he does need something. Because once you get past the entrance and the body paint, I'm sorry, that is basically it. And based off some of the matches I've seen of his in NXT, I think he's one of the most overrated workers I've seen in quite some time. Uh, Raz underscore Ty, do you think bringing back the hardcore championship would work in this era? No. I mean, if you have a hardcore belt in your PG company, what are you really saying? It's just confusing shit and gumming up the works. Furthermore, if you sit there and say, hey, you know, I mean, I've got a hardcore title. You can't even book the other belt you have. Why would you need another one? I'm just saying. Duke THS, when are you going to start doing NFL prediction videos? I will be doing them on the Schlage Daddy TV channel a very, 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 very soon, as in by the time you see this video, there probably has been one or two NFL team preview videos uh, already recorded and uploaded to that channel. Black Sack 41 asked us the final question. If Hulk Hogan passed away, would the WWE do a tribute show for him? Can't just sweep that one under the rug. Can't just ignore it. You just can't pretend he doesn't exist. And even the people that don't like Hogan, even the people that would be pissed off by what he says, I think would have to agree that them not doing a tribute show to a guy that meant so much to their company for so many years and is such a big part of who they became, not getting a tribute show is fucking ridiculous. Because at the end of the day, people are going to be like, yeah, the circumstances are different because they didn't fully know, but they did a best tribute show for Chris Benoit. They can't do one for fucking Hulk Hogan. I'm just saying. Yeah, I... I they can't ignore it, and I think they would know it, so they would have to make sure they did Hogan justice for sure. He, no matter what other bullshit. I think at the end of the day, they know. Because again, it would be an opportunity uh, to sell some shit and make some money. That can be good, good business sometimes. Ask the estates of Elvis Presley and Tupac and Michael Jackson. Death can be the best thing for business sometimes. So thanks again to you guys that took to Twitter and asked your questions. Like I said, I'll have another Q&A coming up this weekend at some point in time. Make sure you check out the other videos on this channel, including this week's Raw review. Yeah, do that.